Hello friends and welcome back to Rongo's tutorials on seven days to die with, you know, this guy, Rongo the Bold. So today we are going to talk about trees and wood. Got wood, anyone? <laughs> so basically today I'm going to talk about all the things you can do with your friendly tree or woody objecty thing. So wood is available in a couple of different ways in the game. So you've got regular sticks, which are found for bushes like this. Oops, that's actually grass. So you get that, you get two sticks, different uh, kinds of bushes. Let's see if we can spot another one here. So this, this is, this also will give you a stick. So those are sticks. Um, there are other kinds of plants in the world as well. You can generally tell them they'll look different than uh, just a grass will. So the other way of getting um, easy wood in the game, I just can't stop smiling now, uh, is to find aged wood. Uh, it's very plentiful in the desert and it can be found on the edges of all of these your biome dividers and you will find these aged woods. So an aged wood will give you, I got my inventory from last time, I'll try to remember to clean that out. So these will give you, if you put them here in the center, give you eight planks. So planks are kind of your basic building block for all the objects in the game. So what I'm gonna do, I'll show you. So we've got some wood planks we already have picked up and we have these sticks that we've now collected. Sticks are useful for a variety of things. They're used for all of your basic things like a club. Oops, let's go club here. Um, wooden club. There we go. I never actually make a wooden club. It's a really basic weapon. Um, and I usually go with a, a either the stone ax or the crossbow right off the bat, but you can make a, stone, a wood club if you want to just with sticks. Now, uh, it's also used as the basis for pretty much all the other objects, like a spike club will have sticks. Your iron reinforced club has sticks. Your barbed club has sticks. Um, all of your other things like axe, like pickaxes have sticks. Fire axes have sticks. Hoes use sticks. So sticks are very prominent in the game. Windows use sticks to make windows. You may use sticks to make ladders. So, and obviously all torches need a, a stick with those as well. So sticks are your friend. We've gotten two ways of getting wood so far. We've gotten picking up aged wood, which you can then turn into our regular wood planks let that go ahead and craft away and you can also get uh wood from trees and trees are your friend you will make and get if you want to be able to travel in water without sinking if you hold the space bar you will kind of jump and if you hold the space bar and kind of look just slightly down from center and push forward um you'll you won't bob if you push up straight uh too far or now it's not not happening no <laughs> Never mind, usually you bob a little bit as you go through the water. Kind of like that. But anyway. Anyway, beside the point. So all trees can be knocked down. And depending upon the size of the tree, like this is a nice big thick tree. Um, this one over here is a kind of tiny tree. And each one will give you a different amount of uh, logs that you'll get from the tree. Like, I'm going to guess this one probably going to give us uh, two or three logs. This one might give us three or four logs. And this one will probably give us five or six logs. So it takes a slightly different amount of time to be the bigger the tree is. But you just use your your hatchet. Um, you can use a, a fire axe. Later on, you can find things like chainsaws or augers, which are excellent ways of harvesting trees, but they generally will also call hordes in. So you get six wood logs from those nice big trees. So those are always, if you want to collect a lot of logs fast, you want to find these nice big trees to start off with. So let's look at our inventory. So now we got our planks from that. Now there's a couple of things you can do with logs by themselves. So if you're trying to build a really quick shelter, uh, what you can do is you can make wood planks from them. Or if you, I'm going to right click and I'll drop one item, right click and drop one item. This gives you log cabin wood. The nice thing is you get four of these for every two uh, uh, logs that you use. Let's go ahead and craft these up. So I'll show you what they look like in the game. They're not the strongest thing because one of the problems is there's no, it, once the zombies hit them uh, and they destroy them, you can't, they don't have like um, 
breakdown level. So I'll kind of show you what I mean by that. So we can just place these out in the world. You can see what they look like. They're kind of very rustic. So if you want to build a nice rustic cabin kind of feel, you want to use these kind of blocks. And as you can see what, how I was placing those, um, you basically just target, right click, and you'll place the object in the world. So those are kind of the basic, that's a basic use of a full log. Now a log can also be used, again, you need, you'll need four of these. If you create a pyramid like this, this is what you call a wood log spike. And again, you can get these by going like spike and there's wood spikes and wood log spike. So this again is a great defensive tool, a defensive, it's probably the best um, simple defense in the game, passive defense against zombies. So to place them, you just put them in front of where you want uh, the defense. So you can kind of right click and place them down and right click here again. You want to be careful when you're placing these. They will tend to clip on top of plants like that, which is annoying because then they'll, they'll place up in a weird spot. And if you're, if you're too close to them, they will hurt you when you deploy them. So you want to stand back and make sure you've got a clear spot when you are placing these in the world. So that's it. Now these, uh, tips. Oops, see, I got too close. <laughs> These tips can be upgraded with your axe. As long as you've got wood planks in your inventory, you can right click on them one, two, three, four times with a, with an axe. Different uh, upgrade tools like a, a, a hammer, a wrench, or a nail gun will upgrade them much faster. So those are now upgraded, they're, they cause more damage and they're more durable. So when the zombies attack them, they'll beat on them and they'll knock them back into this state, but they'll still cause damage. So you can always repair them as you want later on. I'll show you repairing in another episode. But that's the basic thing. They can upgraded one more time if you've got scrap iron in your inventory. You can right click and you can, it, it consumes two planks and two scrap iron to upgrade them fully to their top level. So these are great defenses. These are kind of my go-to and most people's go-to defense uh, against zombies. So what else can we do? We need more trees. Let's get some more trees. So I chop these down. It does take the, and when you're doing this, you always want to kind of stop every once in a while, crouch, or you can actually do this while you're crouched. And uh, that way you can kind of know if a zombie is sneaking up on you. And I kind of tend to kind of just slowly kind of do this around in a circle. Just keep an eye on, make sure you don't have any zombies coming up with me. Now that time you saw it actually dropped some seeds as well. So I got logs, and I got seven off that tree. I'm gonna go ahead and turn all of those into planks because we use planks for a lot of things. So I'll go ahead and craft those and I'll go ahead and take these seeds. I'll put them in my inventory and you wanna be a good forest manager with your seeds. So you can just right click and place them and you plant some new trees and these will grow over time um, usually a couple of days in game and they'll be full grown trees again and as a matter of fact they'll actually grow to nice big full trees pretty quickly all right so now we've got a lot more planks in our inventory now planks are the are the are the basic building block of all of the objects you'll build kind of the the tier one uh in the game so basically you've got wood objects you've got um scrap iron object or buildings you've got uh cobblestone and concrete and if you really want to if you got a lot of material you can make iron but uh wood is is pretty much your go-to for a lot of objects so one of the first objects you'll do in the game with those are to make sticks so again i think i've showed you this before but let's take a few of these and we'll turn them into sticks so each plank will give you three sticks. Each log will give you 16 wood. And if you get one of those aged woods off of the river, pardon me, off the river bank, you'll just get eight planks. So now I've got some sticks. Again, nice, convenient thing. What I want to show you as well, I showed you these, these big spikes. These are really durable, do a lot of damage. You can also make stick spikes. So those are wood spikes. And they are used with a whole bunch of sticks. Oops, I didn't mean to put it there. You can just shift click and it takes it back in your inventory. We'll craft this up. Take it's You get a lot of wood spikes for the number of sticks you get. Uh, but kind of like, you know, if they're, they're cheap like that, they're also a fairly cheap weapon. So we'll go in here, here. And you can see how that's placed. You want to be careful. 
You want to get make sure that box is highlighting the ground when you place those. So zombies will get hurt on these, and I'll hurt myself if I hit them. Not that much, <laughs> evidently. Really? See? Yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm unimpressed with those. Why are they not doing very much damage at all? They should be hurting me. So don't do this at home, folks, because they should hurt you. I have some weirdness going on here, I think. Um, anyway, uh, zombies will tend to break through those really fast. So I, re I recommend if you can afford them to go with the full wood spikes. So let me show you a couple other things here. I'm not going to build every object you can in the game, but I'm going to show you a couple of the basic uh, first things. So the first thing you're probably always going to do is a wood frame. So wood frame is your building block for pretty much all the objects I normally use, any kind of square object. So craft that, craft one of those. And while it's uh, going here, let's go ahead and make. So once you've got an object made, you can just click and you can make more of them. You can hit shift click and it'll make all the all of them that you can. So let's go ahead and have that happen. And while that's happening, I'm gonna go ahead and chop down this little tree here. Get some more planks going. I kind of always want to have wood happening in my inventory. So that you always have a ready supply of frames to build. Uh, I could use them to scale objects. So let's go here. We got five of them made so far. So these are some leftover that basically I didn't have enough to make a full, so it left the leftovers in my inventory. Uh, a few more to make. Tells you how many more are coming out. Let's go ahead and put that in our inventory. We'll grab the ones that are currently kind of baked and I'll show you how to build with these. The nice thing about these frames is they can be picked back up. These, once you place them, they're in there and you gotta use an ax uh, to get them back out of the ground. So we'll go ahead and place this on the ground. And then you can see that I can hold E over them and pick them back up. And it also flattens the ground or it'll raise the, it'll basically level the ground and it gets rid of foliage as well. So if you want to kind of flatten an area, you can use those and you can see how it kind of flattened it to form the area to one level. All right, so let's get these and let's build a basic uh, basic wall here. I'm gonna just hop up and place. And sometimes it's a little funky. You just gotta make sure you get, there we go. I'm just going to build the top here. Just perfect amount of frames. Now, again, I mentioned that you can use these frames for a variety of things. Let me grab two of them just so you can see what I mean by this. So when you've got a frame, you can place it and use it to climb a wall. And the way you can use it to climb a wall is you can hop on top of it, and then you kind of jump up and right-click at the same time. And you have to kind of get used to the habit of doing this. And now I'm up higher. If you had more in your inventory, you can just kind of keep, you know, it's called nerd pulling up the side of a building. Or if you don't, if you don't have uh, the ability to do that, you can also place them like stairs. Uh, it's hard to do on that. One. I can do it over here on this one. Uh, no, I can't. I need one more. I need one more. All right, I'll put this one right there, just so it's there. So if you are on the side of a building and you need to climb up, or you only have two frames, maybe, so you got to go back and forth. So what you can do is do that, hop up, pick this one up. Go to your active inventory, and so you can slowly scale inside of a building and get up without having um, to use a lot of frames. So get that. You always want to make sure you don't drop too far because you will sprain or break your leg. Let's go ahead and grab these again. Now I'm going to start these turning into planks as well. Let's show you just a basic thing here. What we're going to need is we're going to need to make um, a door. And we're going to kind of upgrade this wall so that it's uh, a nice solid wall. So as long as we've got planks in our inventory and our hammer equipped, you can click on here and you can upgrade these. And they upgrade to three levels, kind of like the other things. It takes two planks for each one of these. I'm just going to go ahead and upgrade this really quick. You can hold the right mouse button down and it'll just keep upgrading. And you notice if I move off of an object, I could go there, 25, it forgets where you are. So you want to make sure that when you're upgrading that you keep your, your mouse uh, over the object that you're upgrading. Otherwise, you kind of lose 
that time, which can be, you know, precious time sometimes. So there's a basic wall, basic spot for a window. So I'm going to go in here to a window, the basic wood window. Look, ignore this one here. That's another, that's a custom recipe I happen to have in there. And oh dear, <laughs> I've got a custom recipe for windows. Um, it's kind of an advanced thing. And I forgot that I had it enabled on uh, this, in this map. Um, so I'll have to fix that. So you guys don't have to worry about seeing that uh, a window is, is pretty cheap. Normally you just put a box of sticks and uh, it's very cheap. You can basically, um, uh, if, you type, if you type in window and look at it, you'll see the recipe for it. It makes it very easy to make a window. It doesn't require any glass panes. It just requires sticks and you can make a window pane that will go right in that spot. And I'll show you what that window looks like here. Um, oops. Window. I'll grab one of these windows. It's out of creative mode. So you would have this window inventory. You would place it. Now, when you place an object, uh, a lot of them will have the ability to rotate them. If you left click, you can rotate the object to the desired orientation. And they have a lot of different ways they can be placed. So you gotta sometimes cycle through until you get the one you want, right click, and you're good. Now we also need a door. So we can go in here to door. And we want a secure wood door. It requires eight planks. There we go. Craft this up and we'll place this in the world. Again, these doors can also be in multiple locations. You gotta watch. So right now the door, if you come around to this side of the door, you can see that the space is on this, uh, the door is on the outside edge. If we want the door to be on this side, then you is gonna left click and rotate it around. And you can keep rotating. You wanna be careful you don't place it like that because then the door would have to be basically open in order for it to close the space, you have to take it out. So you kind of rotate it around so you have it where you want it to be. And we want it right there. So I right click, that places our door. Now it opens up just the way we hope. And I can't go through it if it's not open. It's rocks in the way. So there's our nice little wall. Now all of these can be upgraded again with our hammer and it takes two more planks and it upgrades and it has a pattern like that. Same goes with the door. And if you have scrap iron in your inventory, you can upgrade it again. One more level of security. Windows can also be upgraded. One, two, three. And if you've got scrap iron, you can go one more level on the window as well. All right, so that's kind of a good basic tutorial on wood and what you can do with it. Sticks, your basic wood frame, now there are tons of other kinds of frames. So if I go in here and I type frame, oops, if I spell frame correctly, there's inner and outer corner frames. There's um, ramp frames, if you want an angled frame. There's this wood, uh, you know, different kinds of corner frames. If you're building like roofs and stuff like that, you need inner and outer uh, kind of corners where the roof meets. Those are usually used for these ramp frames and these corner and inner and outer frames. But for most of your building, you're going to do, you're going to be using just those plain wood frames. So I recommend you invest heavily in those early in the game. Always have some on your uh, on you so you can quickly climb ob obstacles and uh, get into buildings through the windows and stuff, which is often a much easier. But for now, it's been wrong with the bold. If you've got something in particular that you'd like me to cover in this tutorial series, please let me know in the comments. And for now, leave a like, comment, tell your friends, your family, and your grandma, and I will see you guys on another tutorial.